Hi guys, just a quick reality update. It's almost Halloween. And nothing says Halloween more than slime. Except for maybe candy costumes, pumpkins fall, trick-or-treating, scary movies, and candy corn. But for the purposes of this video, it's slime, so zip it. So I guess you could say I'm starting a thing where each Halloween I do a different Halloween project. So click here if you want to see some of the other ones. The easiest way to make slime is to find Egon Spangler, ask for a proton pack, a ghost trap, and a slimer. Tell him Gigafied sent you. If for some reason you do not have access to a local Ghostbuster, then you can easily make slime at home. What you need is a bowl, some liquid starch, which you can find in the laundry aisle of your grocery store, some food coloring or a fluorescent marker, and some non-toxic glue. Oh, and if you don't want to dye your hands a different color, then go ahead and throw in some gloves as well. I'm going to be using liquid starch, but you can use borax as well. Just mix a tablespoon of it with about half a cup of water. But I found borax a lot harder to come by. With the liquid starch, just add half a cup of it to a bowl. Now I'll add your dye of choice. I'm actually going to be using a fluorescent marker because it glows brighter under black light. Just take the marker and pry the end off, and then empty the filament into the bowl and squeeze out the ink into the mixture with the starch. Next, you want to add 8 ounces of glue, which is essentially a whole bottle. I'm going to be using clear glue to give the slime a translucence. If you want it opaque, you can use white glue. Then mix and squish it around until the glue starts absorbing all the liquid. The chain should be nearly instantaneous. Then to store it, just put it in some sort of Ziploc container. Now you may proceed in your contributions towards the nauseation of little children. Alright guys, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to my website at tinkernut.com or visit me on YouTube at youtube.com gigafied. And until next time, hack some fun into your weekend.